Science 3, Effects of Force Objectives. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to Explain how force can change the movement and direction of an object. Tell that force is affected by the mass of an object. And describe the movement of an object when force is applied to it. Look at the picture. What is the girl doing to make her luggage move? Does she exert force when she pulls her luggage? In our previous lesson, we say that force is a push or a pull. A push moves it away from you. A pull moves it close to you. If you push on something or pull on it, then you are applying a force on it. Forces are always acting on an object and even on you. You should know how to balance the forces, or else, you will also be in motion. The greater the force you exert, the lesser will be the tendency that you will be moved to any direction. You can say that an object has moved when it is no longer in its original position. You may assume that some kind of force pushed or pulled the object. This change in position is one of the common effects of force. What are some of the effects of force? Put a book on a table. Observe if it will move by itself. Unless you apply a force on the book, either by pushing or pulling, it will remain on its original position. Get a ball and kick it. Observe how it will roll. The ball will continue rolling unless a force is applied on it to make it stop. Both examples demonstrate the principle of inertia. Inertia states that an object will remain at rest unless a force is applied to make it move. Force can also speed up or slow down the movement of an object. Increasing the amount of force exerted on a moving object will make it move faster. On the other hand, decreasing the amount of the exerted force will make the object move slower. Look at the pictures. The man can easily push the smaller and lighter cart. However, it is not as easy for him to push the bigger and heavier car. Why is this so? The amount of force required to move an object depends on the weight of the object. Heavier objects require greater force to move them. Lighter objects require less force. Since the bigger cabinet is heavier, the boy has to exert more force to move it. Objects can be made to move faster through the use of equipment like pulleys and wheels. In this illustration, the forces that the boys exert in pushing each other are not equal, resulting in either one of them being pushed back. Therefore, movement takes place. When one of the forces acting on each other is greater than the other, the movement goes to the direction of the greater force. Therefore, the person with the lesser force is made to move a certain distance from his starting point. A person with a greater force moves forward. Oppositely, the person with the lesser force moves backward. This activity shows unbalanced forces acting against each other. A force can also make an object change its shape and size. There are objects with elastic properties. When you apply a pull force to them, they stretch or expand up to a particular point or distance, making it longer and bigger. Upon releasing them, they compress or go back to their starting point, making it shorter and smaller. Examples are rubber band, spring, slingshot, bow, and garter. Look at the picture of the two children riding on a seesaw. As the child at one end pushes down, the child at the other end goes up. As the child who drops to the ground pushes up, the child at the other end goes down. Remember, there are different ways to describe the movements of objects such as fast, slow, forward, backward, up, down, and stretching, compressing. Pulling things toward us will make them move backward. Pushing things away will make them move forward. 
To check how well you understood the lesson, let us have a short exercise. Complete the following sentences. 1. If you want an object to move slower, you should apply blank force. 2. The answer is less. 2. An object becomes blank when it is stretched. The answer is longer. 3. When you push an object, it moves blank. The answer is forward or away from you. 4. When you pull an object, it moves blank. The answer is backward or closer to you. 5. When a larger amount of force is applied, an object moves blank. The answer is faster. Good job, kids!